Simple question to start. Do you know the God we serve? Genesis 1.1 says, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. You can be seated. I'm not going to sit up here and go through the rest of Genesis 1 because I would take, I'm a slow reader, and it would take more than my five minutes that I have. So, the, I'll just briefly explain it. The rest of Genesis 1 goes into explain God, how God created everything by himself. So I ask again, do you know the God we serve? I don't know, I don't think any of you have a, a mic, so I'll go ahead and give you the answer. We serve an all-powerful, all-knowing God who has no weakness, and in just a little bit of time, a, 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 a week, works, week worth of time, created everything you can see, hear, touch, smell, including people. Um, let me not get lost in this in my notes. I took so much time. Um, the amazing thing is that same all-powerful God humbled himself and became a man. And then he died an excruciating death. That was kind of dark. But he died an excruciating death after being betrayed by the very people he came to save. And still, he died to save us. Luke 23, 34, then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. This God that we serve, as nails were being driven into his hands, still, still his mercy and his grace showed. Now, I know most of, the, I know most of us, if you were raised in church or have been in church for any, any period of time, you, you know these stories. You know the story of creation. You know the story of the crucifixion. Some of you don't, and that's okay. You'll learn. Just stick around. Um, I'm not here to teach you something new. Um, I'm here to encourage you. I want to encourage you to give all that you have to give to him. Everything you have, everything you can give, give it to him. Because he did something for us that we can never repay. Now, I'll be honest. I finished this five spot this morning. And as he was downloading this into my spirit, the first thing I thought was, Lord, are you sure you want me to give this five spot? This is the word you want me to give. I instantly got a response. Never, never have I ever gotten a response so fast. He said, why wouldn't I? I said, well, Lord, I can be, I can be pretty self-conscious sometimes. Um, and it, sometimes it, it'll prevent me from doing things um, like giving my, giving my all. And then he said, and I'll never forget this, well, stop being self-conscious. <laughs> my first thought was, wow, that's crazy. Which brings me to my next point, and you're going to wonder how we made this jump. I truly believe the greatest days of the church are not behind us. They are still yet to come. And yeah. many, many times have I wondered, what is the holdup? And this morning, I got a, a little bit of a revelation, I guess. If I give my all, and when I say I, I mean we. And when I say we, I mean the church as a whole, not just NAC. But for this instance, let's talk about NAC. If NAC, if we all gave our all, all of us giving our all, pouring everything into it, what would NAC be like? We would need the new building. We would, we would need pews sitting up to here. We, would, we wouldn't have room to move, and that's okay. Luke 21, 3, and he said, Of a truth I say unto you, that the poor widow hath cast in more than they all. This is, uh, what is it, the widow and the two mites. I believe that's what they're called. Um, I, don't, I didn't want to sit here and just read the whole time, so I'll just give you a br another brief description. There was a bunch of guys who bunch of rich guys who gave some, and this poor widow gave all that she had. And the Lord said, she gave more than all of the rest of them. I know, well, I hope most of us pay our tithes, hopefully. And that's great. But what if we give a little bit more? And I'm not talking about money. I'm not talking about money. That's, as Pastor said this morning, that's above my pay grade. Don't want to touch money. I'm talking about your time and energy. The word says in John 14, 12, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believe on, believeth on me, the works that I do, he do also. And greater works than these shall he, shall he do, because I go unto my Father. I want nothing more than to prove Jesus, is, prove Jesus right. But I don't think that's something that, I, that can be done or should be done alone. Matthew 18, 20, For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there, I, there am I in the midst of them. All it is is a step of faith. Time and energy on paper doesn't sound like much, but I get it. You have jobs, family, and whatever else you do, which takes time, energy, and money. The reason I'm asking, 
why I'm asking is, it because, is because we serve a king that did something for us that we can never repay, and he continues to bless us. Now, please, please do not take this as a way of me calling anybody lazy or saying we're not doing anything. I'm, again, above my pay grade. That's, that's not for me to say. I'm coming to you trying to be as humble as possible because I am preaching to myself here. I know there are people every day who come here and work and pray to keep this place up and running and, dare I say, blessed. So in, in closing, I want to encourage you and maybe even put a spark in you all. Let's come together under the leadership and the authority of Bishop and give whatever we have to give to see through the growth and the revival of the church. Be blessed.